Good evening to you. How are you doing? Very well. well. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you and same to you. What does independence mean to you? Jamaica 50 and all. How does it? Well, what? before you even come to Jamaica 50, let me tell you, I was born at a very interesting time. I'm 59. So wow. in 53, I, uh, I was born in 53. And then when I went to school, when I was about six, at that time we were still singing God Save the Gracious Queen. So okay. for me, it was a very That's important, it was a very, very uh, important transition in my home in Smithville in the hills of Clarendon, learning as children and with the adults what our new emblems would be, that there'd be a new coat, that would be a coat of arms and a flag and the anthem and the symbols. So you learn about the lignum vitae as the national flower and the bloom of as a national tree and the Achaean salt is a national dish. So it, it took a, a, a kind of reframing and re-engineering of one's identity. And it was not lost on me, even though I was nine, because the adults around you understood what it meant to gain political independence. Right. And they kind of uh, imbued you, and it, uh, it, it just came into your being. So uh, to answer what Jamaica 50 means to me, it was important for me to tell you where I'm coming from. So Jamaica 50, let me tell you what it means. It means many things. Many people are very quick to say, oh, Jamaica has not accomplished anything. We have not accomplished some of the things that we should have. We've not accomplished some of the things the way we ought to have had done. But we have accomplished a lot. The point is that many Jamaicans who are talking either are not sufficiently informed, they're ignorant. When you think of uh, our medical doctors, when you think of our farmers, when you think of our geneticists, for example, the late T.P. Leckie, who was a geneticist, uh, people from all over the world would come to find out what he did to develop a different breed of cattle that he developed. When well, you think of something as simple as an ortomy, people speak of an ortomy orange. There's no such thing as an ortomy orange. It's a cross between a tangerine and an orange. You get an ortomy that was developed in Jamaica. And you think of all the young Jamaicans, some not so young, some who are still around, some who have passed on, who have made a mark internationally in politics, in history, in economics, in sociology, as engineers, as good carpenters, as good, as good, you, you understand? Anywhere we go in the world, we make our mark and we do so with, with the kind of, um, uh, it's a kind of thing that is unique to Jamaica, it would appear, that we stand out and sometimes when we're not good, we stand out right. too, you right. know? In the good sense and in the bad Yes, sense. indeed. So what, how do you see Jamaica moving forward in the next 50 years? Well, <laughs> the thing is there are many things that on which we need to build. Right. There are new things that we need to embrace. Technology is going to play there a very, very important role. Not only technology, but technology, because the world is spinning on technology. Media products will be very important. You know, we hear about Hollywood and Bollywood and Nollywood. Uh, Nollywood from Nigeria, Bollywood coming out of India, Hollywood, which is established. And um, so those media products have been uh, coming into our marketplace over the many years. So some of ours, the music has done very, very well. Our sports people have been outstanding. And some of our scientists from just being on a stage, and we've done a little bit of that, but moving it into the sphere of DVDs, uh, pretty much like how the, our friends in Nigeria have done it. You know, you can go downtown and get a place Nigerian products on DVDs, right downtown Kingston. So that, that's one thing that we need to examine and look at and a direction we need to go. We also need to take charge of our own destinies as individuals and understand that if we are going to grow and develop, we need to inform ourselves, we need to educate ourselves, we need to school ourselves. But I'll tell you something, uh, oftentimes, and I've had to think about this in the last two or three weeks in a very concentrated way, one thing to say, but Jamaica has really achieved a lot. And I say to them, 50 years in a, in a country's life, in a nation's life, is a short time. America has been around for over 200 years as an independent nation and the same issues we are grappling with here in Jamaica we are grappling with in, in, in the first world country. Not that I'm not using that to justify the things that we have not done but to say we are on the same play field and we have to function and live the way a country like America lives or the UK or Canada. You know? So we need to find our own place, work on it in the things that we need to work on, but also not accept from anyone that we are 
not as accomplished as we are because we are. There are many people who want to come to Jamaica or want to investigate, research things that we are doing in Jamaica to find out who do we do this? And why are we saying that we haven't done anything? It's not true. Smash down that line. A politician said that some time ago. Thank you very much for your time, Faye Ellington, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.